In this video, we'll look at how to use the pf.nn.conf1d that we have here in the docs. And for that, uh, the first thing we'll need is the shape of these input tensors. So as we have seen in previous videos, uh, that's the shape we would have to create. And so I'm just going to put the shape here so let's write input and that's going to be the shape of that input and likewise we would have to create a filter so filter and we'll have a specific shape for the filter as well so in this case this is the batch and then we have the in channels sorry uh, we have the width in channels and out channels that's going to be the shape of our filter so let's create a filter x is equal to tf dot constant and here we can uh, uh, start out with creating a simple one comma one comma one and if we look at the shape of this print x dot shape we see that it's it'll have a shape that's one by three so what we need to do is we need to add another dimension there so what i'm going to do is simply add square brackets around this one and that will create a tensor which is one by three by one and that that's what we need we need tensor that has uh, three pixels in three pixels that's what we have and just one channel likewise uh, we would have to create a filter and filter uh, we'll create it in the same way where we have values so let's create a filter that's that just has two values in it so the first value is let's say one the second value is two and if we look at the print f dot shape uh, that's the filter we have the uh, we should have had this as one so let me delete that part and delete that so at the moment we have this filter as two by one and we also need to add the out channels in there and so i'm going to add another square bracket and that will give us a filter that's two by one by one now for convolution here's what we are planning on doing uh, we are thinking of this as we have three pixels unlike so and we have so that's the width w and here we have one value of one value of one and one and then we are going to use a filter so that's the filter we are going to use and the filter has values one and two now when we perform the convolution operation here is what we are going to try and do is in the first uh, in the first uh, step we are going to use this part and to perform the actual convolution we are going to take this one multiply it by this one take this two multiply it with this two and add them together so we have one times one plus one times two and this becomes one plus two and we get a value of three so we'll put that three right here next uh, we uh, we are going to move uh, we are going to perform the calculations in exactly the same way all we need to do is shift the filter so let me remove i just need to remove the red line there remove that and then all of that so now we can shift the filter to the right to on the on the matrix that we have or the tensor that we have and let's say we uh, we move shift move on this side by one pixel right? we move on this side by one pixel and now we have the values one one here again when we perform the convolution uh, we are going to multiply this one by this one uh, this two by this two we are, uh, then we are going to add the value so one times one 
plus 1 times 2 again we have the same values 1 plus 2 that is 3 and so we have this 3 right here so that's uh, the final output we have after convolution and so that that's that's the final output that's the convolved uh, this is after convolution is done convolution is done and we get that output that we have so next what we'll try and do is we will use the method in tensorflow to see if we get the same output and for that we'll use tf.nn library so we'll create a variable result is equal to tf.nn dot convolution 1d and here the in uh, the arguments that we would pass into this method are input is equal to x that we created above filters filter is equal to, or filters is equal to f that again we created above and then we have strides stride and stride let's put a stride of one that is we move by one pixel we move the filter by one pixel and for padding we'll use valid and for date data format the format that we have been using so far uh, is uh, in this case for one dimensional it's going to be the batch which is n and then we have the width and then we have the channel so we can go ahead and print the result dot shape so uh, we print the shape of that result and we print the result itself as an umpire array so let's run this and here is the output we have we have uh, the final we have final two values in the output and those values are 3 3 and those are the values we have so that's the convolved uh, output we get so that was it for this video i hope in this video accompanied with the previous videos where we looked at the shape of tensors you uh, got an idea as to what uh, 1d convolution would look like and how we can perform this type of convolution in tensorflow if you have any comments or suggestions please do let me know in the comment section below i hope to see you all in the next video thank you